Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another honing your airbrush skills video. Today we're going to be modifying a needle. We've got uh, the Ophir here and it has a completely different needle to other airbrushes I've uh, studied. Its nozzle is also different though it's a very thick hard brass so that is not going to damage or wear out. Someone else dropped my airbrush and bent uh, the back of uh, the needle. So I've got the needle here and there's a bend. It doesn't quite go in properly. And here's the needle in question. There is a black line marking um, where the taper starts and one is longer than the other. What I've done is using a Gundam or paint marker, I have tipped the base of the uh, taper and on the longer one, I have uh, marked where it needs to be removed. You can notice the shorter one is uh, quite blunted, so that works quite well to our advantage. With a pair of wire cutters, where it was marked, I uh, cut to create a sharp bend, or crush the tip, bent and snapped off uh, to make both uh, ends quite even. It will fit in the nozzle, but the top is quite uh, ragged, as well as uh, will not have paint flow over it easily. We've got two sets of uh, sandpaper and my significantly blunted uh, needle. What we're going to do is at a 45 degree angle, we're going to continuously drag it and run our nail uh, through it to see if there's uh, any overhang and continually rotate and drag until we sharpen it to a slight point. This may take a while, but you can see the scratching marks on the sandpaper. We are actually leaving material behind. This is around uh, 380 grit sandpaper used dry. It is uh, going to uh, scratch up the metal a bit. It does seem to be uh, quite soft, though it is building up to a nice tip. Keep going until it's about as sharp as the original. So it's nicely shaped. We're going to use the finer sandpaper, the 2000 grit or 1000 grit, and it's the same thing. You drag it across continuously and feel until it is of a smoother consistency. After a while, you can get the nozzle, feed the needle through it, and see how well it tapers. Your first few attempts won't be that good and you won't draw too fine of a line. I think I made the needle a little too short, uh, but at least I'm going to be spraying something. I can do colorings and uh, whatnot. So with a few more attempts, I'll be able to have a longer taper and should be able to uh, paint finer lines. Granted, this is not the perfect way to replace it. This is more so an emergency. We could get four or five of these uh, very, very cheap and just have a needle in your airbrush until you can get uh, one from the manufacturer. So at my worst effort, it is a very, very short uh, taper. I'm going to practice and uh, try a few lines. I did a few to see if it would uh, splatter or not. And the gradient is really fine, nothing wrong with that. Though generally the lines are ever so a fraction fatter than the original needle. Nonetheless, I'm able to spray quite freely and have my usual control, as well as the crown is not filling up when I had the um, damage occur to the last needle. So, polishing a needle is uh, very, very uh, possible. And the results practically speak for themselves. Uh, don't be too uh, afraid to be playful. Make sure to buy the needles uh, that are really cheap on eBay. And things should be perfectly fine. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned. Check out the relevant uh, social media links down below. 
the playlists and all that sort of thing. We upload once to twice a week. And shall catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching.